We want to talk about web development, so let's talk about it. So getting a free website is very easy these days. All you have to do is go to a simple Google search and you will get plenty of uh, links uh, sending you to free website uh, platforms. But it's it's not that simple because once you land onto their website, then they will start saying like uh, you will have to pay a certain amount after certain usage or after certain months and it's a free website for just the name. So if you really want to know how to get a free website that can really earn you some sort of money, then keep watching this video. You might be thinking, uh, I don't know anything about um, about technologies i don't know how to do programming how can i get a free website well that's correct to some extent but it's also true that with some of the guidance from uh, what i'm going to tell you on this video you might be able to get a free website and uh, very easily as well so first thing first uh, you need a domain name so what's a domain name well I think you all know about it already. So it's just a simple .com, right? Um, well, you are not going to get a .com for free because uh, it's kind of commercial, but there are other domain names that you can grab for free, like uh, .tk, uh, .gz, or something similar, which I will just add it uh, in this video next to, next to what I'm looking at right now. But uh, yeah, uh, you won't be getting .com. Uh, for free, but you can get some alternatives. Sorry for the bad audio. Um, I just switched to my good mic now. Uh, well, I wasn't actually uh, planning to do such kind of uh, informal video, but I was thinking of making this video for a long time and I actually didn't get time to do that. So I think I will start with some informal uh, approach to bring more of my videos often and uh, that will allow me to share what I know easily to you guys rather than spending so much time on making sure the video looks good. I've already told you the first step to uh, get a domain name to get a free website which uh, which is pretty easy. Uh, now let's talk about the second step so which is getting a free hosting as well. So here you will be uploading all of your contents to this hosting so that your your customers can reach to your content so there are free there are plenty of free options uh, my understanding is to start with a free website it's uh, you can pretty much choose anything which is reliable but uh, to start with we can start with some uh, very popular options like uh, free hosting which i will be uh, listing you guys on this video you can check them out and maybe if I if I get a lot more time I will create a simple tutorial as well to uh, follow the steps at, on how to create a web hosting and how to link that domain name to this web hosting uh, maybe I can maybe I should create a service of my own which will give you a simple few clicks and then you get a free website right not a bad idea like and comment down in this video if you think this is a good idea and should I create a service of my own now you've got domain name and a hosting so what's next well now you need to build your website okay so the next step is to build your website you might be thinking you don't know any of the web uh, related technology how can I build a website well guess what it's fairly easy to create a website these days you don't even need to know a single line of programming and there are services like maybe you have heard about wix.com they maybe maybe you've heard about uh, squarespace there's also a service uh, um, that wordpress provide uh, of their own and uh, the the main popular one is like Shopify. so why i would not suggest to go with them is because once you go with them you're stuck with them all of your information all of your data is then with uh, then stored with their uh, software so let's say if you start getting a lot of customers in your website a lot of traffic in your website then you will be stuck into their platform right that's something i wouldn't suggest um to be in a situation right so to start with i would say wordpress is a very good option because they are open source and you get complete right you get your complete ownership of your design uh, and the contents once you once you get a website on wordpress so let's say if you start 
thinking like this hosting this free hosting is not capable of um, uh, handling my customer request or my visitors then you can simply move to some other paid subscription uh, then you have option to choose from the cheapest op uh, cheapest uh, paid solution that you can get online uh, that's why i like wordpress and uh, let's say you want to build something very custom of your own uh, a feature that you want to personalize for your customers right so you can hire a very cheap um, programmer to build that feature or even you if you have a little bit of tech knowledge then you can do it by yourself it's built on php so it's a very fairly easy programming language to start with the reason why i'm saying wordpress is a good option is because it also provides a free uh, e-commerce uh, integration to wordpress with a simple click and install uh, plugin from woocommerce it's called woocommerce you can easily uh, get your online uh, online shop set up uh, using wordpress there are other options as well similar to wordpress like joomla drupal um, Mag magento so these are also other options but i find them a little bit difficult to use uh, for a beginner and also uh, well i've been using wordpress so i think one of the reason is also that because why i uh, suggest using wordpress and if you're going to be a viewer a subscribed viewer for um, for this channel uh, any questions that you ask in this comment or something like that i will definitely be answering those questions and i will also provide you how you can get it set up if you have any problem so yeah i would suggest to go with wordpress in that case people say that wordpress is unsecure what i say is wordpress just wordpress it's not unsecure it's it's properly managed believe me it's it's been developed in a way that is secure the reason why wordpress becomes unsecure is uh, by installing plugins that you don't know how it's built so wordpress provides a very easy option to install any plugins to your website but you need to care you need to take care of what you install there so if you don't need anything if you just feel like okay this fancy feature might add up something good value to your website don't install it unless you feel like it's really really important right um and maybe the easiest option to uh, choose a plugin is by the number of installs i normally i normally do that i don't install something that is very new and not been te well tested by the community um so yeah when you are installing plugins you need to take care of that otherwise yes it's pretty secure believe me so thank you for watching the video till the end uh, i hope you liked the video and also got some new information about how it works with free website hosting uh, i'm also planning to create a tutorial video on this uh, on the basis of how much feedback i get from this video so please don't forget to uh, provide some feedbacks on the comments down below and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, uh, so that you get notification every time i upload i upload a new video so thank you. Cheers.